I, I didn't even start it before I came out here. All right, we're gonna try it. Well, good morning from Utah. What a freaking sight to see. Look at those mountains right there. Today, we are actually heading out to the salt flats. Now, I'm super pumped. We're actually not bringing the X3. It's dirty right now, and we have a bunch of content we're gonna make with that out in Utah. And I don't think today is the right video for the X3. So, we have to get that unloaded, and we are actually putting on the pit bike, Ashland's CRF100, and the tugboat. We're gonna actually be taking the tugboat out to the salt flats today. Now, I'm hoping last year, about this time, the Sea Boys went out there, and the salt flats were completely covered in water. Shout out to the Bonneville salt flats in hopes to take out the shifter carts and a bunch of other toys and rip them around and we found this at 4 30 in the morning Ooh, i'm hoping that it'll be dry today for us let's get the expedition unlocked hop in here oh man it's so cold it's actually a crisp 39 degrees outside today so it might be a little chilly but we're gonna push through it we're gonna make some awesome content for you guys and i'm excited for what we're gonna do today let's kick it to the intro So first things first is we gotta move this out of the way because we gotta pull the X3 in here. And we also have to get the tugboat, the pit bike, and Ashland's CRF100 out. We also have to get gas for the tugboat and also this tire is like flat as can be. Hopefully it'll go back on. I got an air compressor. And the, hopefully the throttle doesn't stick. Cause the last time we rode this thing, the throttle was a little sticky, but I think we should be okay for the salt flats. There's not much to run into. There you go. Gotta take the pit bike because I know I will want to do some long wheelies out here. I think the other tire is flat too, but this tire is like very flat. How much air do you think this thing holds? No idea. <laughs> Great, me neither. We're at three right now. Alright, this one seems to be good. We're gonna take this just in case we might need some more air. We got our uh, oars here just in case. All right, we got the tugboat loaded. We got both dirt bikes loaded. Let's get these things strapped down and get on the road to the Bonneville Salt Flats. You know, I knew there was a chance of this happening, but literally underwater. You gotta be kidding me. Look at this. Can't tell the sky from the ground. No way. I mean, we can try to get the boat out, you know? We can try to paddle it. <laughs> That's, that sucks. We're gonna ride too much, but I think we have another backup spot we can go to. Oh man, I cannot believe, look how freaky. The last time I came here was during the summer and it was like 110 degrees. It was glass out here, just white salt. And now I try to come out in like the fall and this happens, great. So we actually passed somewhere on the way. Uh, it looked really flat. It looked like actually salt flats and stuff. So I think we're gonna try to head back that way. And if not, we have uh, a recreational like park kind of deal that we can try to do because we gotta, we gotta get this thing off the trailer. All right guys, so it looks like we made it out to a pretty cool place and we have the dirt bikes and the tugboat, but it looks like there's not much flat ground for the tugboat here. So we might have to find somewhere like maybe on the side of the highway or something like that so we can get that tugboat out and get it ripping. But I think what we're gonna do for right now is take out the dirt bikes and just go rip around, kind of look around. I've never ridden in Utah before, so I'm kind of pumped, I'm kind of excited. So we're gonna get those unloaded, get them all gassed up and see what Utah has to offer. We got Ashland on the 110 right now. This bike's just acting up we are gonna rip out here i mean this place looks dope i don't know how far this goes or anything but we're about to see heck yeah look how cool this is oh my gosh this is beautiful look there's another 100 that's pretty cool i really want to find a place for the freaking tugboat but i don't know if i will it's like 33 degrees so it's a little chilly. I'm sure I'll warm up a little bit once I start moving. I want to go up like one of those hills or something. That looks crazy. This is so cool. Okay. Isn't this so pretty? This is beautiful. I can't believe we almost didn't come here. Oh my gosh. This is insane. Look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh. I kind of wanted to see. Oh, I kind of want to go up that. I'm going to try to go up that. Up that? Yeah. On this? All the way to the top of that. Yeah, I might be able to make it. I'm gonna try. All right, we're within hospital distance, go for it. Maybe not that way, but I could get to the top of the hill. 
maybe we'll come back out during the summer. We'll come here and the salt flats and do this. So, so, so we'll do this trip, but in the, in in the, the summer, the same trip. All right, Jake actually put me a new rear tire on this thing, so hopefully it'll freaking grab. But we're gonna try to go to the top of this hill. Oh boy, it looks a little bit bigger now. Let's try it. Oh gosh, it's rocky. I should have brought the WR out here. Oh, this is a big hill. All right, let's do it. Oh, we ain't got this. We ain't having this. It's just sand, man. Where's my brake at? Oh my God, Jake, you didn't tighten my brake, bro. Oh my God, it's just sand. There's no way. You need some serious speed, man. Where is my brake at, dude? Oh my God. Why is there no rear brake at all? There's, it's not existent. Well, no wheelies today. All right, let's try to get another way. Come on, 110. Come on, 110. Come on. Woo! Contraction. Come on. Come on. It's so sandy. <laughs> Why is it so sandy? We're making it up. Maybe not. Dude, it's so... Nah, ain't happening. All right, it's time to go back down with no rear brake. Have you noticed that there's no back brakes on this bike? I've never tried to use them. <laughs> See, I almost ate it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Several times. Oh. I could hear you yelling all the way down here. You did? Yeah. You're just dude, like, oh. I, I was, dude, I was about to die. I tried to make it up that. It's, it's, it looks like it's hard packed, right? Yeah. You were trying to wheelie up the mountain? No, I didn't try to wheelie up the mountain. <laughs> That's what it looked like. All right, let's get to it. Dang, we could just ride all out there. Look at that, that's flat. The tugboat out there, maybe? Oh man, people are parking out here. Oh, that's probably the best place to park. Look at the freaking dudes, dude. This is crazy. This looks so sick. Oh, this dude's getting it. That's Braden Price right there, the KTM. This place is sick. Oh, that's so dope. Woo! That was so sick. I don't know, that probably looks so lame, but it feels cool. The sand is so dope. Oh, I can hit that jump. Oh, shoot. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh my God. Holy shit, that was soft. That was really soft sand. The sand deceives you. You can't, like, get too confident on it. Pit bike's a trooper, man. It's about time for a freshie. Leave in the comments if you guys think I should get a fresh pit bike, dude. It might be about time. It's just kind of sketchy. I don't know where to go off at. Oh, that kind of hurt. This place is sick. I'm having a blast out here. In the next video, guys, we will be taking my WR250 off-roading with a buddy of mine from college, and I'm actually super pumped to be riding with him because I haven't really done much riding on the WR. You guys really haven't seen it at all. I'm sure you guys have seen it in the background of videos and stuff, but I'm super excited to be riding it tomorrow. I know you guys love some dirt bike footage, so. Oh, this is so killer. Look at this. Oh, I just want to come back and explore, like just, just to ride for like a day. It's just probably a little bit warmer. We definitely have to come back out here. I'm sure we didn't see anything out here at all. Look at all those trails over there. Oh, I kind of want to go over here. Holy crap. This looks crazy. Look at these mountains. Dude, we, I gotta bring the side-by-side -side back out here. This is so dope. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. I don't know if the tugboat will make it on this ground. I was thinking about right here to ride the tugboat, but I don't know. It might just spin, but it might just have traction. I just don't know yet, but we're going to try it. Hey, go up that. What? Why don't you try that? Go up that? Like up and around? I think you can handle that trail right there. I'll try. Oh, wow. Look at this little area. This is kind of dope. Oh, there we go. That was easy. We're mobbing. Oh, look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh. Jeez, down there would be cool. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Wrong way. Oh, she's, she's leaving me. Oh gosh. Missed the turn. God dang it, <laughs> this thing. I have the 100 in North Carolina and she has this 100 out here, but I'm thinking she'll just sell both of them and get her a 125. Cause that has electric start, fuel injected, that type of thing. A little easier to ride than one of these old 100s. It is getting frigid out here, man. Oh, they got a pit bike. 
Heck yeah. So I say we load these suckers back up. Let's try to get this go-kart a rip. Should I just try to do it right here? Nah, this is way too bumpy. I'm gonna ride over there real quick just to see if it's somewhere I can drive down. We can unload it for a second. This looks like a road. But I don't know if this is a road too. It's a bumpy one if anything. Oh, it could work. But I just don't know if this is wet or if it's dry or what. Guess we're about to see. Because, oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's moist. Very wet down here. <laughs> but dang, dude, this would be perfect. Yup, a little wet. Ain't happening. <laughs> I didn't even see it. Like, it looks wet from this angle, but from the other one, it didn't look wet at all. Dude, if that was dry, perfect place to ride the tugboat. All right, it's top speed. Let's go, baby. No back brake. <laughs> it is deleted. Oh my gosh. It's like as soon as I got to the like the flat flat part, it's literally glass smooth. As soon as I got there, I was like, <laughs> like look at all the mud like click to our tires. We're gonna put some gas in the tugboat, load these bikes up, and I think we're gonna take them to a spot. Cause we gotta rip the tugboat around since we have it out here. Well, I'm not really sure this is gonna work because this is like silt. I don't know, but this is like the hardest place. This is like the place that I think it will work but I really, really don't know. It might just, I might just unload it and it gets stuck. But I guess we'll just see. So I'm gonna unload this thing. Hopefully, hopefully this works. Well, whoever designed these go-karts was an absolute moron. Mm. Oh, this, is user this is actually error. user error. Yeah. So, uh, so I tried to, buddy, we're trying to film. Oh, that looks sick. You keep doing you, bud. So I tried to fill this tiny little freaking gas tank right here in the middle of the go-kart. Well, that happened. I spilled about three gallons of gas inside the seat. So I don't even want to freaking sit in that. And then we have an hour drive back to the house. All right, so we got it off the trailer. The, the, the gas is kind of, the gas is already kind of soaked up. So we're just going to see if it'll even just drive out here. I'll just kind of like sit on the side or something. But I just want to see if we, it, it hasn't even ran. I, I didn't even start it before I came out here. All right, we're going to try it. There may be some mild damage. Oh my god. What do you mean there's mild damage? <laughs> I feel like my body has mild damage. Oh, that'll buff out. That's fine. What is it from hitting me? Hitting myself? Oh, wait. Is that why the throttle stuck? Because the throttle is on the outside. It's being pushed. I can't believe that the throttle is hung because of the actual tugboat itself. I can't believe I saved it. That thing would have like just driven out into the Mojave Desert out there. Could you imagine you just seeing like the the tugboat just taking flight like right there that dude <laughs> just da -da 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 by itself? Okay, this thing's got some work to do, but we technically did drive the tugboat out here, right? If I, that's what you want to call it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not driving it, but <laughs> taking a tugboat out to the middle of the desert. I'm sore, my shoulder, it literally caught me right here. I just nailed it. Well, it actually drove, which is, Surprising. you didn't expect that. So yeah, it did cool. really good donuts right here. I yeah. put that bush. I didn't too. hear that you were saying you were doing donuts and walked right into that. So. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right, well, this was a partial success. If you guys want to see me two stroke swap this thing, leave it down in the comments. We'll make it to a full shifter cart and we'll bring it back out to the salt flats next year, next summer when it's actually dry. So about 3000 likes on this video and we'll uh, two stroke swap it, bring it out to the salt flats and make another video with it. So guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video of us just exploring the desert for the first day and I'll see you guys in the next video.
my god! I don't know what we're gonna do. Because I really don't have my keys. Were they in my pocket or were they in your pocket? You never gave them to me. I, so are they I thought in you the sand them. somewhere? <laughs> I guess just checking the sand for now. Oh my gosh, there's no way. We gotta find these keys. I uh, <laughs> I don't know if they fell out or if they're in, they might be in the truck. Are they in the sand? Well, I'm glad, I'm glad they weren't buried. That would have been bad. All right, let's go. 